Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of what you can see in the Lifter LMS reporting system, uh, what you can export, and just things like that. So let's dive into the Lifter LMS reporting. So if I head to the back end of my WordPress website under Lifter LMS reporting, we can see this whole reporting dashboard. And you can see at the top here, there's tabs, students, courses, memberships, quizzes, and I can go into each of these and check out statistics for those things. So the first page here, students, I can see a list of all of the students on my website, along with some basic data, like when they registered, when they were last seen on the website, what their overall progress is, and just some other things like that. And if I wanted to, I can even export. This is gonna export a list of all of the students on my website into a spreadsheet file for me, so I can see all of this data. Maybe if I wanted to migrate or go to, um, like MailChimp or something like that, I wanted to export a list, I could do it from right here. I could grab all of my students and move it to MailChimp, Groundhog, or wherever you need a spreadsheet file with all your students' names in them. And you could even just delete some of these columns and maybe just get their emails. Whatever you wanted to do, you can export spreadsheets like that. So this is gonna be a list of all of my students. And if I go into courses at the top here, I could export a list of students in a specific course. This page is going to list out all of the courses on my website and I could click into one individually. I could see the students for that course if I click the students tab there and then run an export only for students of this course. So if you wanted to send an email specifically to students of a specific course you could run an export of just those students and then import that to wherever you're sending an email from for example. You can also see some general overview statistics like average progress, today and of course I could say average progress over the last week or average progress all time just kind of things like that so if you wanted to see how far students typically get in your course average progress over all time would be a way for you to see how far people are normally getting and just some other overall data around your course so that's the courses reporting there you can also see membership reporting if you wanted to export a list of people in specific memberships you could do that um, and then we have quizzes if you had a quiz on your website, you could see the quiz attempt right here. So let me go add a quiz really quick to my course template here. We'll just spin up a quiz, add a question. This, what is your favorite color question, doesn't really have a right or wrong answer, but just for the sake of this, we're gonna say green is the right answer and save changes. Now let me go submit the quiz and we'll see it right there in the reporting. So if I take quiz, start quiz, select green and complete my quiz, 100% pass. Now if I go back over to the reporting, we'll see my quiz right here, my new lesson quiz, and all of your quizzes are gonna be listed here and you can click into the quiz to view uh, specific attempts for that quiz. So this is the attempt I just did right there, ID. If I click on that, I can see what is your favorite color, selected answer green. I can see all that data right here. So if I had 10 questions, you'd see 10 questions right here and I could see what I answered. Um, or as an admin, you could see what your students would answer. One thing that's neat is you could even set zero points for your quiz if maybe you wanted to do what is your favorite color as a survey, you would select zero points and then you would still be able to see that data here in the reporting, but it wouldn't be graded. It wouldn't be like you passed or you failed. It would just be more of a survey. So you could do that as well. That's just a few cool things you can do with the quiz reporting. And then there's the sales tab where you can see some overall sales data. You could have like a custom date range. It's kind of like a mini version of Google Analytics for sales. Google Analytics can do a whole lot more with sales reporting conversions, all that kind of stuff. This is just kind of a lightweight version where you can see the number of sales, uh, the dollar amount of your sales refunds and some basic things like that. And if you're running like an internal training service instead of sales, you might want to look more at the enrollment data for how many users are registering, how many courses are completed, how many lessons are completed and things like that. If you're not as interested in selling courses, you're more interested in the internal training side of things. Uh, this is uh, another way to look at that reporting with enrollments. So that's kind of an overview of the Lifter LMS reporting system, what you can see for students, courses, quizzes, and sales. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Feel free to let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about Lifter LMS reporting or anything around Lifter LMS. See you in the next video.